Well, and good morning in Europe, good evening in the United States. This is Monday, uh, November 29th, with another daily outlook video. As you know, uh, in these videos, we are watching in overall market to see what is going on in the market, what happened uh, last day. So today is, uh, since today is a Monday, we're watching and what happened on uh, Friday uh, at the weekend what we are going to have today and what is the expectations as you know the friday we had one of the worst days in wall street in 2021 and one of the worst day in history in oil market with 14 percent fall while the european stock markets had their worst day since june of last year why as you know the latest variant of coronavirus uh which uh, they found it in south africa i don't want to go through the news probably you know all much better than i know you know that this variant has been founded in south africa and now there are many other countries uh, like germany britain israel belgium uh, and hong kong also they reported that they have some some kind of them to poland uh, in many countries uh, already they have uh, this variant infected uh, from this variant uh, the people that they have been in south africa or south Af south southern countries of africa in general let's say in that way it's going to be much better uh, this dangerous variant seems to be dangerous for 20 to 30 years old as well which was not uh, that much uh, which the previous variants was not that much killing and uh, fast uh, uh, spreading kind of uh, with, with the fastest spreading rates as much as it has the previous variants they didn't have that that rate anyway uh, that was the first expectations and the market was so uh, un, the, the, they were scaring too much and the people they were scaring too much but the thing is that as you see in a market as a let's go to the chart as you see here in the market this new week started with a little bit different point of uh, different uh, point of view with different outlook as the news the latest news and the latest updates from the virus show, shows that it is not actually as dangerous and a killing that it was expecting in the beginning so that that's the reason to see some uh recoveries in the market you see that the us dollar which fell last week against safe even currencies like uh, yen and uh, Swiss franc. Uh, let's see, this is the US dollar uh, index. You can see some uh, correction. Anyway, the US dollar, even with all that fall, it was, it was still above 96, which is, you know, overall outlook. It's uh, uh, increasingly uh, at the high level, touched this uh, 50 moving average in uh, four hour chart, which has happened before as well. So we can see another. Uh, increase in uptrend from here which is not far than expectations uh it, you start against the other currencies like uh, as you see oops sorry let's see make it more okay zoom in uh against uh you could see that uh, from above uh, 115 almost 50 uh usdjpy fell all the way down to 113 as the u uh, as the jpy japanese yen uh, got uh, in a stronger position same for Euro, uh, you could see this uh, uptrend back in uh, Friday, back on Friday, and we can see the correction today still because US dollar is still in a uh, stronger position. Uh, this in general in the market, so as you know, there's this kind of direction. If you go to this uh, oil market, as I told, uh, look at here the oil fall. That's uh, incredibly uh, stupid and crazy. This oil fall. Uh, all the way down under uh, 60, the secret oil, US crude oil, under 50, all the way down to almost $67 on Friday with more than 14% lose. And now we can see almost 6% recovery uh, and back above $50, $70, sorry, and back above $70. However, the market still, uh, market still uh, scaring, the market still has a concern about them waiting kind of to see uh, the newest uh, the newest news, the latest news and updates from the wireless to see to, uh, to uh, kind of manage its reactions. In the stock markets, in the futures market, as you can see here, almost all of them, in, in, I mean, the leading indices like SP500, 
Dow Jones and Nasdaq. Let's make it zoom out. Dow Jones and Nasdaq, all of them, they recovered already, already more than 1% uh, so far today. And we can see this uh, recovery mood can continue still here. Uh, the, the main, probably, we can say the, maybe the main reason for these recovery can be, uh, as I told the latest news, that it is not actually as much as uh, killing and dangerous than <clears throat> Sorry, then it was expecting uh, it was expecting in uh, earlier updates. Today, the, the other reasons of that, the, the other results of that, uh, is about the central banks. Uh, the, as, as you know, today we have Mr. Powell testimony and uh, the speech of Janet Yellen. These expect the 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 the. the, 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 the uh, two days actually this news you know it's not about just the, uh, the, their speech and testimony they have the speech and testimony and right after that we will have a question and answer season it will be so volatile today as the market is expecting to see the latest updates from the central banks uh, the, the, like kind of the reaction to this new variant of the virus as we know the latest uh uh, surveys they show that uh, the central banks already the betting on the central banks to rate raise is much lower uh, now for example for the fed to uh, increase the rates uh, almost by like at least for 25 percent 25 basic point in middle of 2022 is decreased to 20 percent from earlier 30 some person more above 30 percent for uh, almost 100 percent uh, it was the expectations from ECB European Central Bank to rate raise uh, at uh, its December meeting next week which will be in the next uh, not this week then week ahead and not this week ahead it will be in a, on the next week uh, European Central they, they, they had many expectations from European Central Bank on 100% expectations from European Central Bank to increase the rates and now these uh, expectations fell all the way down to 50% or same in the uh, United Kingdom uh, seven, more than 75% expectations of uh, rate raise in December meeting fell to 55%. This is, or almost 50%, something like that. This this means that the now central bank most probably uh, at least as long at, at least they will be more cautious. They will be more scary. Uh, they will scare more. They will have more fears, and they will be more cautiously to increase the rate to rate rates to rates uh, to increase the rates. Uh, for uh, rate hiking, uh, for hiking the rates, they, they, they will be more cautionally because they just uh, don't want to go uh, to the risky area, they don't want to go and risk more. This is the general what is happening, uh, what's happening in the market and what is the latest update from uh, coronavirus and uh, this its newest variant. However, today is very busy day in the stock market in the economic calendar as well uh retail sales in japanese uh, data so far shows that in october we had 0.9 percent increase much lower than 1.1 percent market expectations uh we had already also uh mr koro uh, mr koroda the uh, governor of japanese central bank speech i don't know what exactly he told about that i i, I need to go and read it didn't read it yet but uh, you can if you're interested in japanese economy and uh japanese yen you have you're gonna follow that you're gonna follow, find the news what what he told in his speech uh later today today is a very amazingly uh kind of uh, so busy week for for busy day for speakers as well. We will have the uh, German Buba uh, speech as well. We will have the four or five FOMC members speak. Besides, I mean, uh, besides Mr. Powell and uh, Janet Yellen, uh, Ms. Janet Yellen speaks. We will have. Uh, let me see. It's like uh, too many we had today. Yeah, we will have Williams. We will have. Uh, we're going to clarify the speak. We will have, yeah, I don't too many. I have to go and so it. So you can, you're going to find it. At least four or five FOMC members will speak today, besides uh, in annotation with uh, Mr. Powell and uh, uh, and, and Janet Yellen speak. So this uh, this speech is from uh, Chair Powell. 
uh, will be the two days speech from Chair Powell will be very, very, very important as I told to watch to understand what the central banks uh, going to do. Then there, there's just one point as the uh, as this uh, his his uh, latest this kind of uh, statement or the news of the text of the news it's already written. So maybe it is not that much. We can we do not see that much uh, kind of sign about the, that much uh, the words about the latest variant of coronavirus but we will hear much more in the question and answering season which will increase the market risk so uh, incredibly and please be careful about that and don't forget to uh, uh, to manage your risk this is the overall what what's this is in overall what is going on in a market i'm checking if there is anything ah, about the cryptocurrencies market let's go to the crypto market about the cryptocurrencies market uh, same uh, recovery that you saw in uh we can say let's go, same recovery that we saw in other markets we can see the same recovery in the uh, crypto market as well however if we go to the uh, uh bigger uh, kind of the bigger uh, time frames we can see still that the overall that overall uh, market still it's a downtrend and overall in the market still in a downtrend especially now uh, that we can see uh, EMA crossing strategy uh, is also started to have a negative uh, started to have like kind of a bearish signal with the 20 period moving average crossing down the 50 period moving average from up to down. This is uh, the, the, this is what is going on here right now, and we can see the overall market is going on in a downtrend with the RSI at 45, with the increasing, with decreasing uh, all of the trend line. However, in a day daily move, in a daily chart, we can see that all of the trend line started to have some increase to a certain time, but uh, we will need to see the price to close above 58,000. 600 or 50,800 to be to have the daily close uh, da daily candle close above that to see some uh to confirm another signals for uptrend however for now for the long term still in a downtrend in the short term we have an uptrend uh, we had a news earlier today from united kingdom as well that uh, uh, about the tax law from the united kingdom and so far uh, so far we now uh, HMRC also uh, pointed the digital currencies as the financial. Uh, anyway, they, they, they do not kind of let's say it like that. Uh, doesn't recognize the HM, uh, this uh, HMRC or uh, the British uh, authority actually. The British authority HMRC they, 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 they doesn't recognize the digital assets as a financial instruments. Uh, uh, but the, therefore, the exchanges, the exchanges, they have to pay two persons uh, as a tax service. So digital service, like like two person digital digital service tax. Uh, this is the payment that this two person they have to pay for that. The, the, the many the exchanges they already they they are they're not agree they're not happy with that as they say that it's also the technology it's also about the online sell and buy and so that therefore we don't need to pay the two percent is too high and it's going to kill the uh, digital currency market it's not going to be a positive for uh, crypto market in uk however uh, uh we know we know that uh, we, we know that uh, the cfa is already uh, sorry fca in uh in uk is already uh before also they, they they talked about the regulation and they told that the, is the, all the exchanges that they are not listed in FCA uh, they have to go and register themselves in, on a FCA so the regulation also is becoming more tightening uh, in the UK as well after what we saw in United Kingdom uh, this is generally about the news about that and we can see the Ripple uh, BT, BT, Bitcoin and Ethereum all of them in a recovery mode from <clears throat> from last day's falls and uh, this recovery may can continue uh, but that but the overall the overall trend still uh, for the bitcoin the overall trend still in a downtrend and we can see that always we are in the past days uh, in the past weeks we are creating let's go let's see look here what i'm talking about in the past days always we are creating a new lower low new uh, lower high uh, this lower this new highs already this lower already they're all in their lower than 
previous highs and lower lows and new lows are lower than or less than uh, previous loss. This is what uh, this is what we saw, and this is what we we can see in a Bitcoin chart. Unless if uh, as I told, unless if this uh, behavior can change our uh, outlook. But for now, uh, overall outlook still negative for what is going on in uh, in, in a car, car, cryptocurrency market. For the gold, uh, for gold, uh, Fridays, uh, Black Fridays already didn't forget about the gold. Gold also fall shortly after it's sharply increased all the way down to 1780 from earlier 1815 so and now it's in kind of recovery mode and this is also from the technical point of view it's in a side moment we don't see we don't see any uh, specific direction for gold for now uh okay guys thank you so much for watching this video please let me know what you're thinking let me know your idea how you want me uh, to improve and make changes in this video that will be more useful for you guys see you guys tomorrow morning and bye bye